Hi, my name is Peter Walker. I'm a counselor and clinical supervisor. Uh, this is just a brief overview of my life to date. Uh, just some times and places, um, if I can, if I can uh, stay on point. Um, I was born in San Diego in 1975. Uh, my parents uh, were working with a Christian mission. Uh, called Operation Mobilization. Uh, uh, it was a brief visit back to the U.S. as my older brother and sister had been born in Lebanon, Beirut, and my parents had already been on the move with this mission. Uh, my father is a preacher, a street preacher to this day. Uh, so born in California, uh, moved to Belgium, uh, a couple of years in Belgium and then moved to Iran where I lived till I was four years old uh, some of my earliest memories uh, from Iran and then in 1979 due to the Iranian Revolution uh, we as a family were evacuated by the US government and flown uh, to Ankara Turkey and we moved through Turkey to the US again for about six months I believe I remember uh, during that time uh, six months uh, my older brother and sister would go to a little preschool during the day and my mother and I would share a grapefruit every morning as a little tradition uh, then we went from the US to join a ship called Logos which means the word in Greek uh, really referencing John 1.1. 1, 1. And this ship had uh, volunteers from uh, nationalities, 40 different nationalities, and we joined this ship in Sydney, Australia. And this ship uh, would go from country to country with these volunteers to work with the uh, evangelical churches to help spread the message of the gospel. Uh, so for two years we lived on this ship uh, from Australia, uh, the uh, Solomon Islands, Malaysia, Okinawa, China, Japan, Korea, and more. I remember on that ship in 1980, I was five, as we moved through the South China Seas, coming across a boat with 93 Vietnamese refugees fleeing Vietnam and I remember the ship uh, stalling out on the open ocean and us helping all 93 of these people who were hungry and terrified in the open ocean helping them up onto the ship and getting them to the next country um, I remember a lot from that era I remember the ship in dry dock in the Philippines and our family being placed uh, on a chicken farm and I remember uh, we used to go out at night and catch rats on the chicken farm. And uh, if that wasn't uh, unique enough, we made a day trip to a pig farm. Uh, so lots of memories uh, from Asia those couple of years. Um, we left Logos in 1970, uh, or 1981. I came back to the U.S. for a year sabbatical. Um, my uh, younger sister Debbie was born. We were living in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, um, yes, uh, my brother Matt had been born previously. Um, and uh, then after a year, we joined the sister ship, Doulos, which means servant in Greek. Slightly bigger ship, 280 people, still representing 40 different nationalities. Uh, we would do our schooling on this ship and go from port to port. This ship we joined in Ecuador, South America. And for two years traveling around South America, um, all, all the countries really, um, Chile, Peru, Argentina, another stint in dry dock in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And I remember our family living on a, a small uh, a very remote little village had one cow. We would buy our milk uh, from the owners of that cow every morning. Uh, my wife still enjoys uh, 
me telling my children the story of uh, going to sleep at night in this little house that had no door, just a curtain, and I looked at this tarantula on the ceiling, which was quite high up, and I asked my mother, uh, are, are these tarantulas dangerous? And she said, they won't bother you if you don't bother it, and I slept like a log. Um, and uh, so many extraordinary memories about South America, the countries, the poverty, um, the wealth, the sun, um, saw many things, tasted, smelt, perceived, processed. Um, uh, towards the end of our stay on the ship, it sailed from Vitoria in Brazil, a two-week voyage to the Canary Islands. Uh, and then from the Canary Islands to northern Spain, from Spain to England, uh, we visited Scotland, Wales, England. Then the ship visited Northern Ireland, where the previous ship I lived on, Logos, also docked alongside the Dulos. And uh, I was able to visit my old neighborhood just by crossing a gangway. Uh, I remember uh, running back and forth from ship to ship in Northern Ireland. Um, we disembarked the ships in 1984 and went to Ireland. Uh, we were headed as a family originally. We were going to be going to Sri Lanka, but there had been some trouble with uh, security in that country and our visas did not come through and we went to Ireland, 1984. I was nine, we were now six children. I had been to 49 countries by the time we rumbled into Ireland in 1984. Uh, Ireland, uh, I, I need to pay tribute to that country. I love the country, I love the people. I have a deep sense of um, feeling towards the welcome that Ireland gave our family. Um, it was very formative years for me. Uh, 1984 in Ireland, I, the, the, the smoke, the smog, the, uh, the music, um, U2, um, an aspiring, generous, deep country, um, deep feeling, uh, beautiful people. Um, I owe much to Ireland. Uh, my parents are still there, some siblings. My father continues to preach on the street uh, in Ireland. Um, so in Ireland, 1984, I'm nine. I meet a beautiful young girl, also nine, who I later married at the age of 20. Um, and uh, so in Ireland, I continue to have the opportunity to travel with my father during summer trips that he would make uh, and continued to see countries I had never seen. Estonia, Austria, Switzerland. I had a beautiful trip one summer with my father in my teenage years to uh, Jordan. I remember visiting a group in the hills of Gilead and watching the sun go down in the distant future, or distant, distance, distant future, over Israel. And we paid a visit then down to Aqaba and en route we had a swim in the Dead Sea and visited Petra and got on a donkey and went through the seek of the rock city. Um, also other very precious trips to Eastern Europe uh, prior to the Berlin Wall coming down in 89, visiting Poland, Hungary, seeing Auschwitz and Birkenau um, as a young boy. Um, and uh, so very grateful for the many experiences and travels. Uh, after uh, getting married at the age of 20 to my lovely wife, well, prior to that, actually, she and I had volunteered for a year with this Christian organization in Spain between high school and university. Uh, Ruth Ann and I went to Spain for a year and volunteered with this mission. Came back to university in Dublin, uh, Trinity College, Dublin, a wonderful educational experience for which I'm very grateful. And, um, and in our, uh, after our 
uh, first year of marriage uh, and what was our second year of college, we spent a summer in Italy, northern Italy, Alto Adige and uh, uh, my wife could practice her German and I could work on Italian. Uh, after our third year in university, we took a year out to Mexico and lived and worked in Mexico City teaching English uh, and then finished our degrees, um, finished university, uh, began um, uh, having children. We had four kids in Ireland and then moved to the U.S. in 2007 where we've been blessed with uh, a fifth child born here. And, uh, and here we are. So uh, just a, a brief overview I'm trying to capture in a couple minutes, really more of my timeline and my comings and goings. Um, and uh, just wanted to, to make those facts available.